Good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, October 28th. The time right now is 2 p.m. and the temperature is around 9 degrees Celsius. And this here is the Humber River. And I'm currently at Shank Park. And this is in a neighborhood known as Weston. And for this one, I'll be heading out of the park and up to Weston Road. And from there, I'll walk south through the neighborhood. Then I'll finish up at the GO station and I'll walk north through that. And I'll try to grab a bus at Lawrence Avenue. And I think earlier this year, this part of the trail was closed. The city was replacing some of the main sewage pipes in the area. And Weston started off as a village. I think it was founded in the late 1700s. And there was originally a sawmill just down here on the other side of the river. And then at some point, I think maybe in the 1960s, it became part of the borough of York, which then was in turn amalgamated into the mega city of Toronto. And that was in the late 90s. So once I get to the top of these stairs, we'll find Rogers Road, and from there I'll walk south. And this is my first time ever recording this neighborhood on the channel. There's a rather neat entrance sign to the park just up ahead. Crookshank Park. entrance to the park and next to that rather elaborate sign is your standard Toronto Parks and Rec sign and now it's south on Rogers Road This area, unfortunately, does not have the best reputation in the city. It's been known, to some degree at least, for its drugs and crime. I'm not quite sure entirely if that's warranted or not. Although if you do Google worst or least desirable neighborhoods in Toronto, this one often comes up towards the bottom of the list.
I'm sure there's a lot of people who live here who would disagree with that. There goes an 89 bus. And Weston Road here, I think, goes north all the way up to Steeles Avenue, so that's at the north end of the city. And it heads south, I think, ending at St. Clair Avenue. And then on the south side, it turns into Keel Street. And I think this is the oldest building in the area. This old church, constructed in 1856 and restored in 1999. Torch Time of Revival Church. Although I'm guessing <laughs> that's a fairly new addition in behind it. And Weston itself is bordered by the Humber River to the west. That's where I started. And by Highway 401 to the north. To the east of here, Jane Street. And I think Lawrence Avenue to the south, or it might actually be Eglinton Avenue. I know south of here is the Mount Dennis neighborhood, and I have done a walk through there before. I think it's closer to Eglinton to the south. It certainly has a similar feel to Mount Dennis. West end of the city, well northwest of downtown. And to get here, I actually took three buses. I took the 97 from Young Street up to Lawrence Station, although I could have taken the subway as well. And then I took the 52 from Lawrence. And I took that over to the main intersection to the south of here at Lawrence and Weston. And then just as I got there, the Weston buses are pulling in, so I hopped on that and took that up to Church Street, which is right where Crookshank Park is. And here's a funeral home on the left. There's a Masonic Lodge. I come across those every now and then on these walks. I think the last one I came across was on Annette Street. And here's an old library branch. And I have a list of old buildings I often consult on my way over to record these walks. And this did not pop up on that list. I'm just 
see if there's a plaque in front of this library here. There we go. Weston Public Library. This building was erected in 1914 with a Carnegie Foundation grant. Although it doesn't look like the other Carnegie libraries. I looked up real estate prices on the way over and this seems to be one of the few spots in the city where you can get a home for under a million dollars as ridiculous as that sounds it's the Weston King neighborhood center And I always thought the area was named after the Weston family, who turned a bakery into a supermarket and food empire. But it actually takes its name from a town in England. Last time I was through here, this is Dollarama. I'm gonna have to clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This Dollarama was a large Asian supermarket. And there's an artscape location. I think that's a purpose built rental building on the right and they jazzed up the building beside it and that sits along the rail tracks I think I'm going to loop up through that area once I get to Lawrence there's some neat street art Go train station used to be just to the left of where I am now. It was north of Lawrence, but it was reconfigured and rebuilt on the south side of Lawrence. And I'll be walking through that shortly. This is John Street. And I'll come back through here in a few minutes, but just to the east of here, there used to be an at-grade crossing over the rail tracks. But when they were expanding the rail line capacity to accommodate the Union Pearson Express train, they reconfigured everything. It's good to see they have a Timmy's. And that was actually the source of a fair bit of controversy in the area. One that spread to both the federal and provincial levels of government. 
I think it used to just be a single line go station. And when there was a proposal in the mid 2000s to build an express link between Union Station and the airport, that involved reconfiguring the rail section through Weston, and that was going to lead to a great deal of construction and noise. And the residents of the area got together and started campaigns. And if they're going to have to put up with that, they might as well get a stop on the airport express line. And that is what ended up happening. So here is Lawrence Avenue. We're just going to circle around that area I showed earlier. I'll come back to this intersection and then I'll continue walking south all the way to the south end of the GO station. There's a Union Pearson Express train right now. I think about 10% of the ridership on that train passes through Weston Station. So it's not a particularly significant amount. And they recently built a pedestrian crossing to get over Lawrence. And this is South Station Street. So this is going to take us back up to the Artscape Weston Common. That's straight ahead. Right next to that new purpose rental building. And I'm curious to check out the new crossing which will be coming up just on the right side. You'll notice it's mostly older homes here and older apartments. There's not much in the way of newer housing stock. But at least in the middle of the day, the area up here appears to be perfectly safe. It does feel a bit cut off from the rest of the city. It doesn't have particularly good transit integration. You have buses on Lawrence and Weston and Jane Street that are somewhat frequent. Whoa, that's a tight squeeze for that car. There's the Artscape Weston Common as we arrive back to John Street. So you used to be able to turn right here if you're driving and go over the rail tracks. I think what they did was they kind of built a big ditch or rather a trench run the rail lines through. In fact, just to the north of here, the rail tracks are covered up. And there's a large park that, I think it's called St. John School, that can utilize that. Let's just take a look at the view from up here. the rail tracks. It's a view to the south. That's the CN Tower. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. 
well off in the distance there. And the new ghost station just on the south side of Lawrence. And to the north, you can see that park. I was just talking about, it looks like there's a bunch of kids out utilizing that space. I'm not sure if that's open to the public or not, but that guy's utilizing it to walk his dogs. There's a residential area. Okay, now I'm gonna take John Street back over to Western Road and we'll continue south. And when they built this new rental building a few years ago, they jazzed up the apartment building next to it. Oh, what kind of train is this? Oh, that's a southbound Union Pearson Express train. I was looking the, the wrong way for it. And those are diesel trains. And the street here, South Station Road, I think was where the original CNR and CPR rail station was located. And that dates back to the 1850s. And the GO station was later added in 1974. And they define the Artscape Western common as sort of a community cultural hub. It opened in the spring of 2019 and it's supposed to be a gathering place for people to celebrate art and culture. There's various cultural programs they run and events and that sort of thing. Although in the middle of a Thursday afternoon, it looks rather lifeless. There's a cool mural though. I think they hold a farmer's market there. I think between June and the end of October. So I think there'll be one more left. And other than a Shoppers and a Tim Hortons and maybe a Popeyes, There is not much in the way of chain stores here. I say that as I walk by to Pizza Pizza. And across the street is the church's chicken. Oh, I want to cross the street here. Didn't feel like waiting for another traffic signal. And it's back to Western Road. Although this time on the west side.
that Dollar Express didn't appear to be open. Just former jumbo save, whatever that is. There's definitely a lot of Western Union and MoneyGram and checks cash kind of places around here. And this would be the heart of Weston. Weston Road and Lawrence Avenue West. Lawrence Avenue is what you could deem a strode. It's not a particularly <laughs> inviting road. perhaps one of the biggest reasons why this area feels so disconnected from the rest of the city. And in either direction, you just don't see much in the way of a neighborhood or community. Just an endless strip of pavement. by this store. There is something in store for the whole family. There's the Weston Park Baptist Church. There's where the main entrance to the GO station and Union Pearson Express Station is. Although I think there's some more retail coming up than just on the other side of these large apartment buildings. There should be a parking lot where I can enter the GO station and then I'll walk north along the platform up to Lawrence Avenue. And hopefully I'll be able to catch a bus out of here. There is a youth center, but I like there was a youth center. Or maybe still is. Maybe they're the ones responsible for this neat display. So I can't really get that close to it. to take a hot date there sometime. has picked up. It's okay, I've got my new wireless microphone recording this. It's got a pretty good wind muff on it. This is the second walk I've recorded with it. It's 
tomorrow, I'm hoping to record a collaboration with another YouTuber, and I'll use two wireless mic receivers. Nature's Canopy House, a cannabis store for you. camera drifted down a bit there. Oh, there's a big crane. a curated look in front of that place. I don't see a walk sign. I'm going to be a rebel. I think there should be an entrance to the ghost station just up here on the left. And it'll be my first time ever passing through there. And I never really went through the old ghost station either. It is on the Kitchener line. Never had any reason to take a go train out to Kitchener. All right, let's go for a walk along a train platform. I think the trains are running every 30 minutes or so right now. go inside or outside. Oh, it looks like all these ramps just take us down there. This is probably for accessibility reasons. I'm gonna throw my mask on as we're gonna pass inside. So this station is here, and it goes all the way out to Kitchener, and I'm going to go from here, well I'm not going to record the whole journey, to Eglinton. Tracks one and two go left. Oh, it is in service. I think people will be more tempted so, yeah. <laughs> to press emergency power than the actual button. Hashtag good design.
So there's a look to the south. And if I pull up my rocket man app, it'll tell me if any trains are coming through here. Kitchener. Next train is in 15 minutes. And the Union Pearson. There's a train rolling in in three minutes. And that'll be going to Union Station. And a northbound train will be rolling in in nine minutes. how accurate this thing is. It says next train, two minutes, 26 seconds. I think I can toil around for that amount of, that amount of time before I walk out of the north end of the station. I can see Lawrence Avenue just over there. And I think the 52 bus will be regular or relatively frequent, so I won't have to wait too long. I'll just take that all the way back to Young and Lawrence. And then if there's a 97 bus pulling in, I'll hop on that. If not, I'll hop on the southbound line one train. Here we've got a screen. Oh, it tells us the time rather than the time of arrival rather than how many minutes until arrival. Scheduled 1510 and 1612 and 1742. Well, that's all later. But according to this, There'll be a train rolling in in a minute. So I'm on the GO train platform here. Platform two. And there's another platform over there. That is three. That wasn't. And it looks like the Union Pearson will be on track three. Is the Rocket Man app full of shit? That's the million dollar question. As it says, there's a scheduled train in 26 seconds. I don't know if it's hooked up to the, the real time reporting like it is with the TTC. And look at this, there's some kind of funky elevated platform up ahead. Oh, the elevated platform is for the Union Pearson Express train. I guess you can only board it from this platform all the way at the north end of the station. It uses a very different train from what the GO trains are. Yeah, it says do. I'm gonna call bollocks on that. Up there, there's a sign. Do not rely on Rocket Man. This is better than the ghost sign. You can go to Pearson in four minutes from now. Well, I'm not going to wait around that long. Or if I do, 
I can cut that part of the video out. Do I want to burden myself with the extra editing? says Pearson four minutes. I don't normally stop my videos partway through, but we might make an exception for this one. And if I forget when I'm editing, it'll just be me standing here for four minutes waiting for the train to come in. suddenly forgetting which track it'll be on. <laughs> oh, someone's taking the elevator up. Possibly jumping on the Union Pearson Express. Not even on the right side. It says track two, and I think this is track two right here. Still says next train. To Pearson in 32 minutes. What? Did it not just say four minutes? Pearson four minutes. Oh, four then 32. But it said four minutes for quite a while now. This video is officially just me spinning around in the same spot. All right, I see a train light. I'm just going to set up shop and wait right here for the train to roll by, so I'll stop recording. Or not stop recording, I'll cut this part out and I'll resume when the train, when the train comes. So it finally came. And now there'll be a race to these stairs. So let's head on out of this go station. I'm wondering if I was just not paying attention and if there's another way out of here.
That's Lawrence Avenue just up ahead. So I think I could have just walked to the north end of the platform there. And you could cross over to the other side of Lawrence here. I'm going to head over and try to catch a 52 bus. of buses on the other side. There's some neat street art here. There goes a bus I could have caught. There's a stop just up ahead. Those three buses have been stopped there for quite a while. It's a 52A, a 52F, and I can't see what the third one is. And a look back to the west, towards Weston Road and Lawrence. This is Ralph Street. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see when the next bus is coming. That's probably exactly what this person is doing. another Dollarama. Just pulling out my app here. Eastbound 52. So I'm going to be waiting four minutes and five minutes for the next two buses. But I think this is a good place to end the video. I hope you enjoyed this walk around Weston. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there are links to my YouTube channel membership and Patreon in the description. I also have an Instagram account. All right, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.